give greetings and good tidings to you. I greet you as king and humble fool. The words you hear are finite and fair, but desirable as the life giving air. Ah, but there I go again, full of misery and glee. Was the truth not yet been revealed to thee? I was named Silas, dearest Silas, full of life. Yet here I am a jester, giggling from strife. I yearn to bring pain and spread its gift. From smallest stab wound to great bloody rift. For I was driven to be exactly what you see. Or not what you see, but what you hear you see. I lost my insanity and bliss was found. Or is it the other way around? Needless to say and needless to care. As I drink virgin blood and chew angel's hair. Victims I have many, and more shall be had, for I am not sad. Surely not, I am glad! An angel came to me and said, Dear Silas, dear Silas, for soon we'll be wed. I jumped for joy and clapped my hands. A love everlasting, time's eternal sands. Until one day, when I came home, a note was scrawled, and my thoughts had roamed. Why did she leave? Oh, why, why, why? Why did she seek to make poor Silas cry? I evoked the angel. She came to me. As radiant as ever could be. I tied her down and beat her sound. I buried her deep underground. I plucked down her lungs and fed it on her lips. I feasted upon her fresh flesh strips. I gnawed on bones. I flossed with hair. I ate angel for days. I danced with Blair, for never again did Silas cry. No, no, Silas spied another bride. Yet she did not satisfy he, for he found another man with whom she had been. So Silas freed up more, more space in the ground, and lied her carcass safe and sound. A pauper of childbearing age had been seen with body cloth and the voice of a queen. An evening or two, and now she is shown to not be the person dear Silas had known. A cut, a parry, a burn, and a bite, and she slept the long perpetual night. Pinpricks upon the bright blue eyes A breath that none On the deep black skies Rose suckling and trails Filet of lung A belt of nails And a gold harp song Of Silas' newfound role in life The bringer of pestilence the torch of strife, a grand little chap of a tortured line, whose brightest star has time to shine. So there you have it, my dearest friend. And now your life is at an end.